Well, it looks like we've done nothing um, over the last couple of days. Um, it has been a bit rainy, but uh, all the drainage uh, I put in, the uh, surface drainage, I had to take out. Um, I just wasn't happy with it. Hi, we're Ian and Julie. Follow us on our tiny homestead and our debt-free project of a lifetime, the building of our shipping container home here in the Pyrenees. And all of this alongside our full-time jobs. We now have all the forms off and um, I've sealed all the uh, sort of loose gravel, etc. with some very liquidy uh, uh, cement, concrete. Um, so today we're going to get on with putting in some new forms uh, to get this drainage in. I'm just setting my uh, square to two centimetres, 20 mil, and that is going to be the lip I'm going to have. You got it? Tight? Hold it, hold it tight. It's tight, I'm not going anywhere. So the drain is 120. So I'm going to have that 10 from there. Or do I have it five? Ten would allow a slope. Five plus the twelve is one seventy, and then ten twenty seven, maybe thirty. But we did a form at thirty. So what I'm going to do is drill a hole and have a piece of rebar all chemically cemented in yeah and have it sticking out five centimeters or actually slightly more because this has got a lip on that will i can position that against the um the drainage and then that one i'm gonna have right in the center of that Mark down five to drill. And the last one. So I'll go and get some chemical agent and then have that coming out exactly five. I'll measure these more accurately later, just getting them out of the way. Ian's just fixing some more strips of rebar and this is purely to get the levels with some form boards um, just to help us for um, when we put the cement in. We just put the uh, the rebar sort of stays in for the forms. Um, the concrete is really hard to set at the moment, but um, it doesn't matter. We're going to put these on uh, very gently, 
um, and see how they go. We're going to set the top form board first, get that totally level with the uh, two centimeters below the grade of the garage, finished floor of the garage. Yeah, before um, I do anything else, I'm just going to scrape away this bit of concrete that I put in yesterday because um, I want to put a board up against that to form the end board of this form. So uh, I can do redo this a bit later. It's only this side. While it's still not set too much. I'll grab it. Mr. Wright. Oh. Right. Oh, okay. Two of those is two centimeters because that's ten mil. Oh, tar. coffee. Oh. You got some wood. It's easier in here. Oh, that's better. Right. Let's get on with it. Ian's famous little box of scrap wood. A lot of people who visited the site, uh, neighbours and friends, uh, have, have looked at the concrete pad and go, oh, that's a nice position for the house. And I say, no, no, this is just the garage workshop. Go, what? And the biggest reason, as you can see in this workshop here, I can do lots of fiddly bits with my machines um, to, to do the work, but I have to come back here to do it for our garage. But if we get the garage workshop up first, when we start on the house, it'll just make life a lot easier. We'd be able to just nip into the workshop, fabricate something, get back out to the house and get it installed. And uh, that, that's the biggest reason we're doing the garage before the house. It's not a uh, cart before the horse. But... No, don't Teach me never to uh, plug my glue up. Uh... Just like that, we're back on site with his little jig. So my little jig, as Julie has called it, is working pretty well. So I've got my level here. This slightly, this side is slightly high, so I can actually just tap it down. That's pretty much it. Tighten him up. Let's go, buddy. <laughs> Some funny angle, that's why. We just finished our shuttering, and here comes in with more soil. We're just backfilling. Probably moved um, this soil about six times so far, <laughs> backwards and forwards. But we're just backfilling the bottom um, so nothing leaks out. But, uh, so we're all of it's braced. We've used all the old uh, shuttering we just took off. I had to cut some parts down to get the level. Um, but no, it looks all right. So um, we'll be able to fill that up halfway tomorrow to the bottom level of the drain. And then we can place the drain on top of that when it's just slightly going off. So it's not going to just sink in there. Oh, 
just below those two boards in the sand that's our deep drain coming that will come from the back of the wall there's Tyson eating and just below his food there's four little baby bumblebee mice So we're just at the Builders Merchant looking for some rebar um, for the corner, like I said, for the corner of that um, uh, step. I just want to really enforce. So I think this is the perfect stuff. We just have to get that, some of that cut down so we can get it in the van. But um, it's six mil bar, and there are four of them in sort of an eight centimeter uh, section. So we'll go and get, uh, go and pay for that and come and collect it. I'm getting used to dodging wood, metal. This, uh, this system requires it to be uh, dead level. So uh, between, I think there's a, a slight slope in between. So I'm just gonna slide this along and make sure. If there's a slight drop, I prefer that than anything. Yeah, that's all right. And then I've just got to do the horizontal. See that one is not too well. I think I'll put a slight packy just at this end to give it a good chance to get out. But that's near enough level all the way down. And the water's supposed to come into here, sit and go out the easiest way, which will be the hole at the other end. Getting a lot of use out of this eco flow. Yeah, no, it's very much worth the money. Yeah. This, uh, this whole cutter, my little Makita, basically uh, blew some sort of smoke last time, so I'm not going to risk it again. So I brought my little mains powered one, but with the eco flow, basically every tool I have is battery. And again, we're not sponsored by them, but we use it a lot. And it's a Sunday today, so it's quiet. So we're not running a generator or anything. Right. And as you're aware, we are totally off grid. We have no um, mains or anything here. Nah. We're 
getting a lot of smoke on this, but it's purely because the wood is so wet. Is that the pipe cleaner? Mm -hmm. All the fly poo off. <laughs> Put in the comments if you get fly poo. Oh gosh, yeah, this we is really poo. weird. Little fly dots everywhere on the cars, on the windows, on the plastic, you know, the walls, everything. Little dots of fly poo. Never had it when we lived in the UK. Never saw fly poo in my life. And Holland, we lived in Holland for a while. Never saw fly poo. Come here, it's absolutely everywhere. And some of it's massive. French cows. That's what this is here. These little dots are all fly poo. So this is the piping's going to um, just glue and join on to the last portion of the drain section. going to glue them all in with this uh, glue waterproofer and then go back and finalise the seal. We did well with that too. Give it a bit of a uh, drop. A lot more concreting now, but this time uh, we added a hydrofuge, a waterproofing agent to the actual concrete because uh, this will be outside of the actual structure. So um, it just made it a lot more um, pliable as well. And I think that's why it didn't go off as quick uh, as all the rest did. This part here with the little uh, pipe, uh, plastic pipe, is just underneath the level. This is going to be protected with a big post anyway, so nothing's actually going to drive over it, but just to protect it a little more, I'm going to put in just a tiny little bit of chicken wire mesh, and uh, that'll just bind the concrete off from the top of it. That's all we have left. We were super close. Julie's just cleaning out the, the uh, excess out of the trough. We've still got to go all over this with a mag float. Um, it's just too, it hasn't gone off enough yet. So all the, uh, the water's coming to the surface as it should, but uh, we've extended the uh, concrete slab just a little bit more to fit this surface drain in. And then the stones will be level right up to there. Oh, can't wait for all this concreting, although we've got to do all the tops of the walls next. This is our uh, drink setup. This in here. Julie was late, hence this is the peace offering because her tooth fell out. So this morning, well, actually I found it in the uh, glove compartment of the car. She was trying to hide it. Don't tell everyone. She was trying to hide it from me. And then uh, I found it in there and I was just about to throw it away. But she's actually had it glued back in this morning.
So this small drain, uh, surface drain we've done, just seems such a small project, but it's taking such a long time with all the shuttering and the digging out and getting it all level, the rebar. So it's very uh, just another small garage slab. But once we've got that done and we've got the delivery, well, we're picking up the gravel on Thursday, I think we'll see a lot of progress then because we'll be able to finish off that drain, as I said, around the back, the French drain. And then uh, after that, we can get up with erecting the garage, which uh, is gonna be the fun part. I've been fed up, stuck in the ground for too long. I want to get out of the ground properly and start on some uh, proper engineering work. Oh, but uh, at least it stopped raining today. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we are playing uh, catch up every other day with the rain. We're getting um, a fair share of it now. <laughs> Merci. <laughs> Well, we've been waiting a little while for the uh, concrete to set more and uh, now Ian's just going along the edge with um, it's a round edge it just gives a nice round edge effect to the concrete so. mag floating it off Yeah, because our little edger, it gives um, a line in between. So we just going along with the mag float and hopefully that will just smooth it all out nice. Last bit. Right, back the next morning, lots of rain last night. Just managed to get all the tarpaulins off. Hopefully that'll be the last time we have to put them down. But um, it's looking quite good. I'm just taking the end off. It's only been, it's still quite soft actually on top, but um, I'm just debating to whether to take them off now, because um, I do need the forms, and then uh, tidy up the corners. But uh, it's not too bad. And the drainage seems to be working a little bit, and that's just from the uh, the excess off the tarpaulins. But uh, yeah. works we got water coming out of it this morning now we've got all the tops on <laughs> <laughs> 